What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a awesome day. I want to thank all my new uh, subscribers and everyone who's recently commented. I really appreciate it. Um, I will always uh, personally shout out to someone who I happen to notice um, who subscribed, even if they didn't say anything. But if you are new, just dropping in any video and just saying, hi, new subscriber, that will let me know if I happen to miss you. And um, I will uh, shout out to you on the next video. Uh, so today, I've got a couple things going on. We are going to be doing a giveaway again. So uh, if you watch all the way to the end, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It is paid for by me, and it is a gift to one of you subscribers. And at the end, we will discuss how you can get that. But I have a topic uh, for us to cover first. Let me enjoy some of my soda. refreshing. So today, uh, the topic will be, before we get to the uh, free giveaway, which will be plants, by the way, um, and lots of it. I hook it up with the free plants. So today is going to be my five top stocking tips for a planted aquarium. Now, you'll see a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers saying, my top five uh, favorite uh, stocking tips, you know, and what they pick is kind of uh, arbitrary and biased because they're giving you their opinion as to what they think looks the best. I'm going based off of facts. Um, you know, uh, I took into consideration, you know, not just looks, but also are they going to eat and eat your uh, plants? Are they going to destroy your vegetation? You know, some don't eat. They just start kicking things up for no good reason. You know, um, are they going to be too big? Will they hurt other things in your tank? You know, etc. Being some kind of a nuisance. So, uh, my, uh, the fish that I'm giving you are all schooling fish. And I went with schooling fish for some very good reasons. Okay. Uh, one is is that uh, there's a huge reason why, and we're talking about small schooling fish, okay? Don't get giant schooling fish. And I'm going to give you their names in general because there's many kinds of each type of schooling fish that I have on here. And I'll let you decide, you know, which ones you think look the prettiest. I, I mean, I'll, I'll give an example of which ones I think look the best out of each one of these, you know. But in general, stick with these types of fish and you'll have no issues with them disrupting your plants. Uh, fish school for several reasons. One, they are uh, prey to a lot of other uh, fish because they're small. Uh, safety in numbers. Um, they stay close together um, also so they have more eyes for feeding. You know, when there's a group of them, one spots food, he tells everybody else, and the whole tribe goes and eats. Um, and then also for breeding, they stick close together so they can also breed. Um, and then uh, finally, when we're talking about safety in numbers, not only are they you know less likely to be consumed when there's many of them, but when they swim together, um, they swim with synchronized movements. And these synchronized movements um, reduces the amount of friction Ergo, allowing them to move faster. Okay. Now, also, schooling fish do not have a habit of destroying their surroundings. Not only do they school, but they also like to school in heavy planted areas. And they don't want to tear it apart because not only do they hide amongst themselves, but they hide amongst the vegetation. And they want to keep their home. They want to keep it that way. You know, so... Uh, I have a list of stocking tips, and they're not all fish. One is something else. So, uh, the ones that I went with that made the most sense that are small enough, okay, they can accommodate 10-gallon, 20-gallon, 30-gallon, 40-gallon, 50-gallon tanks. And, of course, the more gallons you have, the more of them you can, you can have in your tank. 
All of these fish roughly stay anywhere between a half an inch to two inches long. So max, that's what we're dealing with. And also, a school of fish, when they're all the same, you don't got to worry about them terrorizing each other, trying to eat each other, you know, and that sort of thing. You know, I'm, I mean, there's playfulness, and some will kind of chase each other around, a little nipping here and there, but they're not trying to eat each other. Okay, so uh, my first schooling fish that I'll go with are Danios. All right? Great schooling fish. There are so many to pick from. And um, after I've listed all the schooling fish, I'll throw a picture of my personal favorite from each kind. All right. Uh, number two, uh, any rasboras. Rasboras are fantastic. They are colorful. They look great. Uh, schooling fish, there are many different kinds to choose from. Uh, and number three, tetras. You can't go wrong with tetras. Most people know the most common one are the neon tetras or the cardinal tetras. Those are the ones that are clear with the kind of neon blue strip going through them. But I like to think outside the box. So I have, I have one in particular that I'm going to toss out there and put a picture up for you to look at. Um, now, number four are barb fish. Okay, again, lots of different types of barbs out there, all schooling fish, and all do great in a tank. And then uh, my last stocking tip isn't a fish at all. It's actually shrimp, Neocaridinus. Now, out of all the shrimp that you can uh, get, Neocaridinus is by far the easiest to take care of. Um, I prefer you keep them by themselves. They will get eaten by other fish. Now, the rule of thumb is with fish, you know, if they can fit it in their mouth, they're going to eat it. Now, um, there are some tetras and rasboras that are small enough that will completely leave your uh, shrimp alone. But even their fry, their fry are, you know, are smaller than a gnat. They're tiny. So they're up for grabs for any fish. So um, I've had success with uh, a group of cherry shrimp living with inlers and guppies. Um, live bears do get a little bit on the large side. Um, it, guppies and inlers are great as a first um, fish. When it comes to planted tanks though, I have noticed that the females, because they get much larger, uh, female guppies, female mollies, female platies, all the live bear, uh, bears, um, they're omnivores and they will eat some vegetation you know it just it depends on how large the vegetation is the smaller it is the easy it is for them to eat um, so anyway when it comes to danios my personal favorite danio is called and i'm going to pronounce this wrong just so you know it's called danio uh urethromicron urethromicron I'm going to throw a picture of it up. So write it down. Um, here's the picture. All right. Great looking fish. Okay, moving on. Rasboras. Now, there are a lot of great looking rasboras, but my personal favorite, which ones I think look the best, are called uh, Bora Bora. Uh, Bora Raz. Bora Raz. Bora Raz. Here, here, here they are here. Now, keep in mind, I don't actually have a picture yet. I have to edit this later, so I'll have it, you know, somewhere right there. Great looking fish. Huh? Yeah. Looks awesome. Look at all that red. Cool. Those are the smallest, but they look awesome. Okay? Especially in a bunch of green, or you got some red plants. Great. Um, my third favorite type of schooling fish for planted tanks. Uh... It's called the Bleeding Heart Tetra, because now we're on Tetras. Look at that. Bleeding Heart Tetra. And do you see why it's called a Bleeding Heart? See the little red dot in there? Yeah, that's its heart. Looks pretty cool. And I do have Tetras. I have uh, Sarpe Tetras, which are kind of like a pink with the black spots on them. Those look cool also, but um, those were given to me. But um, if I could you know, pick some now, I definitely go with the Bleeding Heart Tetris, you know, um, I'm giving you guys ideas way outside of the box and what the norm is, and then my favorite type of barbs are called the Five Band Barb, ooh, look at those Five Band Barbs, cool, all right, 
And then here's just a picture of Neo Caradinas. Now, I will tell you that they are fruity, they're colorful, they're, they're uh, fairly easy to take care of. I like to have a tank personally of just those, but um, not only do they look awesome, but they are really good uh, picker-uppers. You know, they're just constantly going around nibbling tidbits here and cleaning off algae off of every single leaf in your uh, tank, and they'll eat the brown diatoms. They love hair algae. Um, they even love um, that white uh, biofilm fungal, fungus that you'll find growing on your driftwood sometimes. They love that too. And I know like the picture that you saw is what they, we call that as a Skittles tank. That's where you have all the different color Neocaridinas. I'm going to tell you right now that if you're like, ooh, I want all the colors, I've done that before. Within six months, you're going to end up with nothing but brown shrimp. It'll only be colorful for a little while, and once the parents start dying, when they breed together, they regress to their wild form, and their wild form is a cherry shrimp, okay? And cherry shrimps aren't so cherry looking, they're brown. So, you know, I would stick with the color. You like the blue ones? Buy nothing but Blue Dream uh, Neo Caradinas and load them up with that. I have a Blue Dream tank, you know? You like the orange ones? Stick with the orange ones. I have a uh, orange Neo Caradina tank that's got orange Sunkiss. Uh, orange pumpkins and uh, orange release and you know as long as they're in the colors they can breed um, you know so don't think you can buy some green jade shrimp and some blue dreed shrimp and breed them together and get some purple bonanza it doesn't work that way all right so you know you can do a skittle stink if you want I'm just telling you it won't be so attractive just stick to a color you know so now Let's talk about what you can win. And I did this last month, and just a um, disclaimer, okay? Now, to win this, um, yes, I am going to have to message you, okay? Um, you also do have to be a subscriber, all right? And um, unfortunately, I can't mail, it's illegal to mail uh, these plants overseas. So I apologize to any of my subscribers who live outside of the country. I'm going to think of something to get to you guys. You know, I, I, I can't get you plants, but I don't know. Maybe I'll send you a picture of my mug. Can you pin it up on your wall? Yeah. I'm just kidding. You see my face for free on here all the time. But anyway, so the uh, giveaway is going to be the same as last time. It's going to be some free valve, but I'm going to give you three different kinds to choose from. So, uh, I mean, not to choose from, I'm going to give you those. And I get kinds that you're not going to find anywhere else. Um, you may have some luck with Dustin's fish tank, but he's going to charge you up the wazoo. I'm just going to give them to you. Now, the first one is called um, Valicinaria torta. So if you look at it, it's got wavy leaves. Really cool looking. Oh, and this one even had a runner baby growing off next to it, too. Oh, and it'll start another one also. So you may even get some of that to me, too. They're well-established. They're ready to go. I love Torta. Look at those crinkly ends. All right, so that would be the, the first one. The uh, second type I will send you is called um, Valicinaria um, Americana. And it's got kind of a reddish color to it. All right, so you know it's more straight than the other, but it does grow really tall. And then the other kind I'm going to send you is called. Uh, I just had a. All right, Valicinaria spiral. So, um, you know they they grow uh, twisted like this. But then what's great is they're called spirals because of this stalk right here that comes up in the middle of it. And what grows at the end of it are flowers. So immersed, it buds little flowers. Now, isn't that something? So, yes, you will be getting spiral valicinaria from me. Torta valicinaria and valicinaria americana. The americana is the tallest. Uh, the Torta will stay somewhat short, around 7, 8 inches or so. The Americana, um, on the other hand, is going to get pretty pretty tall. Um, 
it's like jungle bella scenario so you know it could grow six feet but you know i mean if you got a 20 gallon tank it's fine because when it hits the top of your tank it'll fold and then just start you know growing across the top of the uh you know the water um which is awesome you know it, it provides kind of a cover and it will help dim the lights too if you have any low light plants below it so this is how you can win all you have to do is you have to be a subscriber all right and then in the comments below I want you to type you can say whatever you want but type I want some free val all right that's all that's it I mean you can say something else if you want to but just saying I want some free val is good enough and the person who last who who won last month that person's name is G family so if you're worried about actually because you will actually be talking to me this isn't going to be like some internet thing I'm going we're going to talk over the phone I'm going to give you my number you give me your address and then I'll mail it to you and someone has already won and no I didn't show up at their house you know like a stalker hanging outside the window being like huh you looking for some of this yeah that's not gonna happen I mail it to you out of my own pocket I'm gonna overnight it to you I'll even trim the roots and everything they'll be ready to go so uh, thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end then now you know what's up for grabs um, I'm going to post that this video today. Uh, it's Sunday. I'm going, this time, I'm going to give you guys two days. So, Tuesday, I will message and announce the winner, and uh, we'll go from there. You know, because first I'll message you to make sure you even want me to have your address and then mail it to you, you know, because there are some paranoid people. But, keep this in mind. Last month, only six people participated, so... The odds are with you. You know, there are some subscribers out there. Or actually, I don't know if there's any subscriber. Uh, it, I mean, if there are any other YouTubers who give away free stuff. I have no idea. For me, I'm just, uh, I've propagated so much of these different types of battle scenario that I've just got a bunch. And I'd rather one of my subscribers have their tanks flourish with it than what normally ends up happening. And that's me uh, putting it, you know, in... Uh, I put it in a bucket and it becomes compost. But anyway, three different kinds. I'll show them to you again. Tortaval, Long Americana Val, and then your lovely Spiral Valisinaria. I can tell you right now, these three in particular, you can't find anywhere. Not through Aquarium Co-op. Um, you can find it at Dustin's Fish Tanks, but I'll tell you right now, he charges a lot, and the first three he always sells out of, like immediately, is the Spiral Val, the Contort Val, or Torta Val, and the Americana Val. So I've got all three, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up. So we'll also discuss when I call you um, how many tanks you have, how many gallons, and. Um, depending on how much space you have, that will decide how much I'm going to give you. Cause, cause look right here. <laughs> At, like, like seriously, I got 20 pounds of this stuff that uh, you know.